Hey Collective, it's your girl Mermaid Prophetess bringing you another collective reading. Let's see what's going on my beautiful Divine Feminines, my beautiful Divine Masculines. Let's see what's going on with the collective energy today. Alright, so let's see what is going on. Okay, we have a karmic toxic twin and chosen. Okay, my nose started itching right off the bat. Okay, we have the devil is in your bloodline, karmic family and friends. It's the way I'm focused and move in silence. Okay. You know what this is giving me, Divine Feminine? There could be a karmic twin who is focused on you. Focused on you being a chosen one, on you being a true twin flame, on you being a divine being. Somebody is mad that they don't know your personal business. We have a witch at work in reverse. Okay. Somebody doing somebody doing spell work, try to know somebody business. We have evil toy soldiers in reverse. That goes with a witch at work in reverse. Okay. What is this reading? <laughs> Let's see. We have obey in reverse. And we have messing with the cat that you don't understand. Do y'all even speak the same language? Ooh. Okay. And we have family ties. So we have family ties here. And then we have a card that talks about karmic family ties here. So definitely karmic family members are involved. Child, let's get into this energy because who we? Divine Feminine, this is definitely giving me... There is a, you can have a twin flame. Your divine masculine could be your twin. There's definitely a false flame here. There's a karmic twin here. This person, this person could be arguing with the divine masculine about you being a chosen one. It's like somebody's trying to, if you look at these two people here, these people are fighting with each other. And it's like, there is a karmic twin that is having major arguments with the divine masculine about you being a chosen one divine feminine. It's like these people are arguing about your status here, about who you are. And this is karmic family members. With it's the way, with it's the way I'm focused and move in silence. Divine feminine, you could have been attached to a divine masculine who has a lot of karmic family members. These people they were pissed off because they don't know your personal business. These people are the ops. For some of you divine feminines, this divine masculine, he has ops in his own family. There could be a Capricorn involved, Gemini, with witch at work. This is manipulation, a dark witch who manipulates others. This is in reverse, and we have toy soldiers in reverse. So this is definitely giving me, somebody definitely did some kind of spell work here but with this coming out in reverse this was returned and with this messing with something you don't understand and obey in reverse this also talks about a man master propaganda so divine feminine somebody went on a smear campaign against you somebody smeared your name to this divine masculine you know what i just got divine feminine somebody created a smear campaign against you but the goal was to bring all of the smearing towards this divine masculine. But whoever this karmic witch is, whoever this is that got into some kind of spell work, heavy manipulation, this did not work. Not with toy soldiers in reverse, not with witch at work in reverse. They did all of this for nothing because, see, you're a chosen one. And now they're pissed off. It's like they found out that you're divinely protected. Whoever these karmics are, there's definitely a karmic lover and karmic family and friends involved. These people are arguing about you being protected. These people are arguing about some kind of spell work failing against you. Child, I cannot. That's what they're arguing about. Something isn't working, this propaganda that they created against you, something didn't ruin you here, and these people trying to know what your next moves are. Where are you going, following you? These are people, these are stalkers, Divine Feminine, and they learned a lesson, so we're gonna see what this is about. 
what is this let's call it the karmic twin flame toxic chosen These people are arguing about divine feminine being a chosen one arguing about you this could be this divine masculine and a karmic twin arguing they're arguing about you queen of cups <laughs> divine feminine you came in pure okay this is what they're arguing about about you divine feminine and we have this death energy at the bottom. Scorpio energy, divine feminine. You could be transforming. You could be leveling up. With the devil and this death energy, divine feminine. It's like whoever this karmic twin is, this karmic lover, this person, it's like they tried to sully your name. They have an issue with you being seen as pure. Some kind of smear campaign fell apart against you, divine feminine. And this person is pissed off. It's like they're arguing. This divine masculine, he's defending divine feminine. These people are arguing. And they're arguing about the chosen one. They're arguing about you. What else with this queen of cups? We have the king of swords. And we have star energy, divine feminine. Aquarius energy here. This divine masculine is in this king of swords energy. This divine masculine... Is speaking the truth about divine feminine it's like he could have found out about some kind of lie found out about some kind of spell work but this masculine is definitely speaking the truth standing up this karmic is pissed off that this masculine is checking her on something about divine feminine we have the page of cups yeah the very innocent energy This karmic feminine, she's also accusing this divine masculine of secretly admiring you, of wanting to go towards you with this king of wands energy, ten of cups, okay, and this eight of swords energy. This karmic feminine, her goal is to trap this divine masculine, okay, and we have the queen of wands and the seven of swords she had to do something divine feminine it's like some kind of propaganda some slander some major slander that this karmic twin this is a false twin whoever this divine masculine that's who he's attached to a false twin karmic twin this person along with karmic family members these people tried to figure out everything they could about you with the way you move in silence. You're in this energy. Not letting know these people in lot not giving these people any access to your business or to your energy. So they went into this energy. Sent this very aggressive energy towards divine feminine and with which at work all of this is in reverse. These people weren't able to these people were not even able to scratch the surface of your energy divine feminine they didn't even understand how you were so powerful with messing with the cat that you don't understand do y'all even speak the same language whatever type of manipulation they were sending your way divine feminine and the way that this karmic twin wanted you to be seen that is how people see them now she immediately went into this seven of swords energy immediately it's like she snuck out and did something here it's like this divine masculine correcting her checking her about something saying that you are innocent of some speaking highly of you this really bothered this karmic lover that's how she ended up in this energy to sneak and do something really deceptive behind his back that's how she ended up in that energy. Because this masculine spoke the truth and said that you were innocent here. We're going to see what it was that they're accusing you of here, Divine Feminine. But these were lies. These were deceptive tactics. This was this. These were lies that they were putting out there. Spell work that they were using. This spell work has bounced back. They had to pay for this. With toy evil soldiers in reverse, demon is ready to collect. They had to pay for this. Try to slander you so you could be seen a certain way. This has only landed right on them. What else with this seven of swords? 
wanted to make it seem like you did something deceptive here. This divine masculine checked them on whatever this deception is that you were accused of. That you were innocent. And this karmic got pissed off. Stressed out about her getting checked. We have Queen of Swords. Yeah, they ended up in some kind of battle here. With the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords being here. This is this Divine Masculine with this Karmic Soulmate. They ended up in some kind of argument. Some kind of battle here. All about you. All about you being a Divine Being. All about you being innocent. All about this. Arguing. Hard down arguing. Because she, it's like whoever this Karmic Feminine is, she said something about you. She accused you of something. And this Divine Mask, I don't know why I just heard too far. No way. Whatever this was, this Divine Mask, he knew that this was a lie. He knew that this wasn't the truth. King of Cups at the bottom. This is definitely a high level soulmate of yours, Divine Feminine. And we have the world. He could be closing out a cycle here. What else? These people were arguing. Divine Feminine, you could have spoke the truth about something here. And this karmic got pissed off. There could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio involved. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Sagittarius. Let's see what else. Four Swords. And the String Card. Leo Energy. I feel like Divine Feminine, this karmic is pissed off because you don't have to try so hard. You're, you're just protected. You're, you're just literally protected. You're just posted here, protected with all these swords underneath you. You're just protected here with all these lions and lionesses here, Divine Feminine. You are so protected. And this, this karmic got pissed off. Because whatever she was doing against you here, this didn't work. This obey energy, this is how this Divine Masculine, everything that she said about you, everything that these karmic family members said about you, this was supposed to be your reputation here. That's what they thought. Meanwhile, they couldn't get through. They couldn't get through here. And we have the Three of Swords. And we have the Hermit here. Strong Virgo energy. With that Hermit energy showing up. And with the Hermit and the Two of Wands behind it. So this Hermit energy is over here with this Devil, Karmic Family, and Friends energy. These people were doing something in the dark. And Divine Feminine, you could have spoke the truth about a betrayal here. Definitely. Seven of Swords over here. Three of Swords over here. I don't know why I hit these cards so hard. Seven of Swords over here. Three of Swords over here. You spoke the truth about a betrayal. Whoever this Divine Masculine is and this Karmic Lover is, this Karmic Twin, they ended up in a hard down argument over here. Even pictures could have gotten broken here. Vases could have gotten broken. Some kind of vase filled with flowers could have fell over or something like that. For some of you guys, this happened during a trip, during traveling or something like that. For some of you divine feminines, this divine masculine found out about something deceptive that this karmic was doing at a gym. We have the Four of Cups. Okay. Divine Feminine, you could have always protected yourself from this masculine's karmic family members and karmic friends. Because we have you moving in silence here. And we have you keeping that same energy with this Virgo, with this Hermit energy moving in silence here. And then even with this Four of Cups energy, when you look at her right here, you can see she's not really paying attention to this cup. While all these other people are laughing and having a good time. I feel like Divine Feminine, you never trusted these people. I also feel like this Divine Masculine is isolating now that he knows the truth. 
he could be not, if this is a divine masculine that hangs out with a group of people, he's isolating. He's walking away. Look at this. We have the eight of cups here. Look at this. All of these drinks, cups left around, cups left around. This divine masculine is miserable here. Somebody could be begging here. This is a man who's isolating after some kind, some kind of argument with this karmic lover. Who was a cute... It's like this person got really pissed off about Divine Feminine being a chosen one. About not being able to get away with the lie. This is like some kind of fallout here. We have the Three of Pentacles. like multiple people got together divine feminine and tried to something about you moving in silence it's like multiple people got together to try to figure out if something is working if this is working if this spell work is working they're seeing they're seeing that you're unbothered that you're healed here something isn't working these comments are arguing amongst each other about it not working. We have the Page of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. Woo! They're fighting about something that was done incorrectly. There could be some kind of paperwork here that was done incorrectly. With this page of pentacles and this nine of swords, there could definitely be some kind of paperwork here that was done incorrectly. Somebody's trying to hide evidence of being a part of a group here or something like that. Somebody got some kind of paperwork could be related to the justice system. This person is stressed out. Whoever these, karm these karmic family members are, Divine Feminine, these people are stressed out about some kind of paperwork for some of you guys. Somebody's source of income could literally be um, scamming or something like that. Could be a scamming family or something here that's into fraud. Somebody could be filing kids' social security numbers or something like that. Tax fraud. These people are arguing with each other. These people were celebrating Divine Feminine. It's like they thought they had this in the bag of destroying your reputation here, trying to get this masculine to see you in a certain light. And when this masculine stood up for you and said, no, this isn't true, this karmic lover got really pissed off and went and did something in this seven of swords energy. She felt betrayed by this divine masculine because he stood up here and, sh and painted you as this queen of swords. These people are really stressed out. These karmic family members, we are under karmic family members, karmic friends. This karmic lover told them about this. And now they're all stressed out. They, they're literally fighting with each other. We have the nine of swords and we have the nine of wands. They are literally fighting with each other, screaming at each other like this is what they have been doing all day. It's like something was supposed to work here and it didn't work because you're a chosen one here, Divine Feminine. You're different. This Divine Masculine is saying that nobody is like you. Something about you is so unique, Divine Feminine. Even with this chosen card, it literally says David and Goliath. Like, yes. This made me think of that um, Nicki Minaj song where um, she says, In this very moment, I'm king. In this very moment, I slay Goliath with the sling. Yeah. And I will retire with the best. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm not lucky. I'm blessed. <laughs> Clap for the heavyweight champ. Yes, Divine Feminine. They could not take you. Okay. Like, we are literally channeling this. 
Divine Feminine, they could not take your energy at all. You never mixed in with this crowd. And when this Divine Masculine checked this karmic lever on this, because this was a ton of lies and propaganda that they were spreading about you. And then this is a ton of spell work that bounced back. This karmic could have already been on edge. These people are already arguing about this spell work not working. I mean, they so busy arguing about you, they can't even focus on their kids. We have the Two of Wands and the Nine of Cups. It's like they're arguing about your next move. Or this Divine Masculine's next move. This Nine of Cups is over here at Witch at Work in Reverse. It's like these people were going after a wish fulfillment. It's like these people wanted to spread. It's like they spread a ton of lies about Divine Feminine. They rushed to spread these lies with the Knight of Swords. And it's like they had to get rid of this. They had to get rid of you. Let's see. Whoever this Divine Masculine is, these karmics, it's like they wanted to make sure that this masculine seen you a certain way. They ran an entire smear campaign against you. Divine Feminine, you could have been up against a family of narcissists. We have the Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. These people put in a lot of work. This spell work was to trap you, trap your wish fulfillments, and with the Eight of Pentacles being here, and in this deck, this Eight of Pentacles is like a lover's card when you see this couple over here. It's like they are a love, like this is literally like an Eight of Pentacles that's like a lover's card. It's, it's like putting in work in a union. This spell work that these people were putting in towards you, Divine Feminine, this is work that they were putting in even while this masculine was with you. This was so that this masculine would stop putting work into this union with you. You could be seeing 8-8. Eight, eight. We have the lovers at the bottom. And then we have the Page of Swords. They, These people were obsessively watching you, keeping tabs on this union. It's like they're literally with the Eight of Swords being here. They, they wanted to bind. This is what they were binding, Divine Feminine. The amount of effort, focus, loyalty, building that this Divine Masculine would put in with you. This is what they were binding. Eight of Swords and the Lovers. This is what they were binding. They were binding your wish fulfillments. And with the page of swords at the bottom, they kept watching. They kept checking. They could have kept getting tarot readings. They wanted to make sure that these things don't come through for you. And with this nine of, with this nine of swords and this eight of swords and this nine of swords having all of this paperwork, somebody could be trying to get rid of evidence that could land them in jail or there's some evidence in, in a house somewhere. I don't know why I'm getting this in the country or somewhere that's really green or there's some evidence somewhere that is going to land someone in jail or connect them to a crime that involves a group of people. Let's see what else. What else with this witch at work? Evil's toy soldiers in reverse. Eight of wands. We just pulled eight, eight, eight. Eight of pentacles, eight of swords. Now the Eight of Wands and Justice. Look at all of these arrows they were shooting at you, Divine Feminine. Look at all these arrows they were shooting at you, Divine Feminine. They didn't feel like you were going to be protected because they felt like your back was turned, Divine Feminine. Not knowing you a whole chosen one over here. You're a whole chosen one. You already know. You already know that you were being you were being targeted by this divine masculine's karmic family, karmic friends, karmic lover, or for some of you guys, your own karmic family. I say you could definitely be seeing 888. 888 also gives me wheel of fortune um, energy. It also gives me the energy of infinity. 
The infinity symbol may be significant here. For some of you, Divine Feminine, something isn't over. There could have been communications found about this spell work. These people binded their own wish fulfillments, binded their own love, binded their own ability to create financial abundance. And they put some evil soldiers on themselves because this is in reverse. This is backfire. Child, I cannot. It's the jealousy for me. All of this because Divine Feminine didn't want you guys to be all up in her business. Yeah, we have Ace of Pentacles and the Devil. These karmics were obsessed. Capricorn energy with the Devil. They were obsessed with your um, opportunities here. And Divine Feminine, what I'm also getting... getting these people told this divine masculine that you binded his opportunities to him. That's why he's doing bad. I don't know why I'm getting that divine feminine. This masculine could have taken a major loss. And these, and these karmic attachments, karmic family members tried to tell this divine masculine that it was you doing this. Capricorn energy, Virgo, Taurus energy, Gemini. Child, I can't. I just can't. What else? Give me um, messing with a cat you don't understand. Do y'all even speak the same language in this master propaganda energy in reverse? Just want to control you by any means necessary. There's a master manipulator here. People try to run Divine Feminine's name through a smear campaign. It's like Divine Feminine, a group of... It's like whoever this karmic lover is, she had multiple people... Like, she had multiple flying monkeys assisting with a smear campaign against you. And then there's spell work here. To bind you. To bind your finance, financial success. Your opportunities. How much effort anyone puts in towards you for love. It's like Divine Feminine, these karmic attachments came after you more than just this Divine Masculine. They were attack they're attacking you for things beyond him, other soulmates, other opportunities, your life, your abundance, your path, your destiny, your wish fulfillments. These are all the things they're going for, but this is what they're dealing with now. Now they're stressed out. They're literally arguing with each other, trying to figure out why something didn't work. Why people are looking at them funny. Now they're being looked at how they wanted you to be looked at. With Obey in reverse, this propaganda is failing. Knight of Swords, they're panicking. This is underneath messing with the cat y'all don't understand. They didn't understand your energy, Divine Feminine. This is the first time they came up ever against a real chosen one. Ace of Swords at the bottom. You're still getting new beginnings here. We have the King of Wands here at the bottom as well. Sagittarius, Aries energy, Leo energy. This masculine wants to come in and tell Divine Feminine about this smear campaign. These people are arguing here. Because this masculine didn't believe something. I'm starting to feel like this was a group of people that this masculine was arguing with. Divine Feminine. They got mad that he didn't believe something here. We have the Fool. I just heard act the Fool. The King of Wands, he already kind of act the Fool. Because he definitely is in his ego. There was some kind of binding uh, work done on this Divine Masculine with the Eight of Swords, the Lovers, King of Wands, and the Fool. This Masculine broke free with the Fool. These people are in shock about what this Masculine had to say. Let's see, what else? Divine Feminine, this Masculine, look at that. And we have the Emperor at the bottom. And look at this full energy again, Divine Feminine. Look at this. This, this masculine is on his knees. Okay? 
look at this picture on top of him and look at him on his knees with all these candles and all of this stuff divine feminine this is a masculine for some of you guys this is a masculine taking action towards you telling you that he sees everything clearly now strong aries energy with the emperor he see that these people were playing manipulating him trying to play chess with him controlling the board he sees how they were controlling the board here with the sun being here leo energy the illusion is clear we have judgment here scorpio sagittarius this is a masculine that wants to come back come back from the grave i'm here some of you guys are totally done with this divine masculine but this is a masculine who wants to come back from the grave i'm getting divine feminine yeah and there's the empress right there we got the emperor and the empress and judgment you can't tell me this isn't a divine masculine that wants to resurrect the connection you can't tell me divine feminine okay i don't want to hear it that's just the energy taurus libra energy okay let's see what else is going on here because child we're gonna see what else is going on here because these people got really pissed off about about people not believing them about you this is just crazy <laughs> about this lying, falling apart, and about this backfire. Child, let's get into this. What is this um, binding work that's over here with all these eights, this eight of swords, this witch at work in reverse, toy soldiers? What's going on over here? We have poison. For some of you divine feminists, these people literally tried to poison your wish fulfillment. There could be love potions going on. We have metaphor for love, flirt and seduction, and we have resisting. There could have been potions going on, love potions going on here. You know what I'm getting, Divine Feminine? These, whoever this karmic attachment is, these karmic, um, this karmic lover and these karmic family members, they stayed obsessed with you even after your separation from this divine masculine. They still kept doing work to try to bind your future. They became obsessed with your energy here, divine feminine. They were still doing work to bind your future here. And it's like something stopped working towards this divine masculine, whatever um, love potion this is, whatever sex potion this is. This masculine started resisting this. Started rejecting whoever this karmic lover is. Look at this. We have poison, harmful and harmful and destructive, flirt and seduction, metaphor of love and resisting. This masculine started resisting this. This spell work wasn't working anymore. That's why we have witch at work in reverse. So whoever these karmics are, so they're doing spell work still against divine feminine and this divine masculine trying to control him and even as you guys are in separation divine feminine they're still doing this work but then suddenly this divine masculine starts resisting this karmic lover he stops trusting her you could have warned him about her or he got some kind of warning about her about his karmic family members what else? Take me into this obey in reverse. This is about control. We have patience. Self-control and patience. And underneath this obey energy, we have this knight of swords. This was about keeping this divine masculine stuck. Some kind of sex magic trying to keep him stuck. What else? And we have eager, immediate action. So this karmic, you know, I was picking up that on my last reading. Yeah. Eager, immediate action, time to say goodbye. 
This divine masculine stepped away, left this karmic, or is leaving. This karmic knows that. He's leaving this. I can't make this up. We have Romeo, banishment, and rings. This masculine is leaving this situation. And this karmic, it's like she had to hurry up and do something. Divine Feminine, for some of you Divine Feminines, these people try to, literally try to poison you. Okay? I'm just seeing this. Look at this. You could have rejected something to drink here or something like that, Divine Feminine. Look at this. Where, look at this. And she's not even interested in this drink and we have poison harmful and destructive or this divine masculine doesn't trust drinking from these people eating from these people child i cannot give me one for this eight of swords this nine of swords and eight of swords sheesh look at that dream flipped over that's about a prophecy divine feminine you could have seen that this masculine was binded or somebody was trying to bind you. You could have had a nightmare. You could have, um, you could have felt like somebody was trying to attack you in your dreams, Divine Feminine. Could have had a prophecy, a hint, something about some kind of controlling energy with this dogmatism showing up at the bottom. Yeah, look at this. Tie ball energy, aggressiveness, and secret help. This karmic, it's like they, this karmic knew that she was losing control of this divine masculine and she had to rush and do something. And when she rushed to do this, things ended almost suddenly. And all of this started with an argument. We have distilling liquor, strategy, expertise, double-edged sword. Look at this. She came up with a strategy. I cannot. It's the desperation for me. So whoever this, my ear is itching. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Whoever this karmic lover is, this karmic twin. It's like nothing that this karmic lover in this car, in this car, in these karmic family members. This could be a karmic mother. I'm getting like two karmic feminines and two karmic masculines. Like four karmics here plus a karmic lover. Somebody could drink a lot here. It's like this strategy that she set in motion. Somebody could try to make it seem like you had addictions here. This didn't work, Divine Feminine. And when this masculine spoke highly of you, this karmic set out to do something very deceptive. She had a strategy to go set in motion and this strategy backfired. What else? We have social events. This is the second time I've seen that card. That's how this argument happened at a social event about Divine Feminine. Like, there were drinks involved here. Actually, with distilling liquor, social events, Divine Feminine, this argument between this Divine Masculine and these karmics, this karmic lover especially, this happened at some kind of social event. Where something was said about you and this divine masculine, it's like he corrected somebody about you, divine feminine. And this pissed, and this pissed off this karmic lover. And the family members. Even they try to, they try to tell, come through spirit, with this nurse energy at the bottom. These karmic family members tried to tell this divine masculine that he was wrong for correcting this karmic lover about you. For standing up for you. And then this just led to a whole bunch of other foolery. We have fake death. This fake death card, it talks about disguise, concealment, keeping secrets, hidden truth. 
Death lies on her like an untimely frost upon the sweetest flower of the field. And I have this Queen of Cups energy, which is, if not the sweetest queen in the deck. For some of you divine feminines, this is an alive spell work that this karmic threw at you and it didn't work. A karmic liver. Some kind of secrets came out at a social event here. They, you know what I just got, Divine Feminine? If you warned this Divine Masculine about something here, so this Karmic Feminine, it's like something she lied about. Some some kind of truth slipped out, some kind of Freudian slip or something like that, where this Divine Masculine was able to see the truth here. About a strategy. About these people coming for you. We have a romantic night. A romantic night in reverse. Didn't I tell you guys that this divine masculine is rejecting this karmic lover? She thought for sure that she was going to be able to fix him with some kind of spell work that night. And that did not work. That did not work at all. Let's see what else. We have balcony. Land of love. One more. Yeah. Land of love and a dark deal. Balcony energy. This is over here by when the devil is in your bloodline. And a dark deal. This divine masculine realized that he has karmic family members that were a part of some kind of helping with a love spell, helping with a love potion or something like that. This dark deal also talks about wrong decisions, incorrect direction. There's two karmic masculines here that were intentionally giving this masculine bad advice, incorrect direction, trying to manipulate him into making a bad decision. This divine masculine recognizes that. Something to do with money as well. These people came and convinced this masculine to put his money into something here. This is masculine, he been keeping quiet about this? For some of you divine feminines, somebody made a deal about you, about you could have some kind of inheritance that's been yours since you were a child, some kind of abundance that's supposed to come in for you or for this masculine and these people were after this. Four of Cups also talks about jealousy. These people could have joined in on this dark deal. These karmic family members out of jealousy, a karmic mother. For some of you divine feminines, I don't know why I'm getting this. A karmic mother could have like sold her son to a karmic lover. I don't know why I'm getting this. This is like some kind of secret deal. We have a dark deal and a pa and pacify. This is like some kind of secret deal that nobody is supposed to know about. Divine Finley, you could have known that somebody wants to sacrifice a divine masculine or sold him. What's this um seven of swords and this queen of swords? Somebody. I mean, you have multiple queens here. I got the Queen of Wands, Seven of Swords, Queen of Swords. There are two main karmic feminines that teamed up against you. And there's two main karmic masculines. And then there's another karmic feminine. This was a total betrayal. These people thought they got away with it due to... It's like, it's like this betrayal is just spread out over time, over people. There are so many flying monkeys involved here. There's like four or five of them. Give me two cards for this. That Juliet almost jumped out. Divine Feminine Energy. Let's see. We have Confession of Love. Kiss. Confession of Love. Kiss and Banishment. This is what these two Karmic Feminines were doing. 
they were this was about getting you banished divine feminine or getting you to banish yourself about breaking this divine union with banishment confession of love and kiss so who, this divine masculine confessed how he feel about divine feminine to somebody that he thought was trustworthy with this wise trustworthy energy showing up here and this stress this karmic out stressed stressed all of these karmics started arguing with each other they all started arguing with each other because whatever work that was done here with this witch as work witch at work it didn't work they could have actually started thinking about that's what i'm getting here with this toy soldiers in reverse they started thinking about that energy too if the witch at work for the love potion spells if all of this didn't work against divine feminine then what about this aggressive energy that we sent? They know that energy is coming and it feels like it's already coming because somebody could be running from the law here about some fraudulent paperwork or some kind of stolen money or something like that. And whoever these two feminine karmics is, they could have committed a crime together or violated spiritual law together. Child, I cannot... All right, let's see what else is going on here. I cannot. Like, what else is going on here? Let me see. Do I want to get these? Let's see. What else is going on here? These people are something else. Like, I want to know, what were they arguing about? Pisces energy here. At the bottom, I'm going to get back to this deck. With this hangman energy. What were these people arguing about? What are these accusations against Divine Feminine? That this masculine stood up and said something. Something don't make no sense. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see, sir. Give me some of these um, accusations, these flying monkeys. What were they saying about Divine Feminine? Somebody wanted you out of the way here, Divine Feminine. Made a deal to be against you. Like, they made secret deals happening here. All because you didn't want to share something with here. It's like somebody's trying to take what's yours here. Let's see what else. Where are some of these lies? But what are these people arguing about with Divine Feminine's name? Going ghost, popping in and out. We have a sugar mama. And then we have Gucci here. Mm. For some of you Divine Feminines, these people were saying that you were a user or that you were spending money on another masculine or something like that or that you were just trying to benefit something here or that they know about you being a user before just trying to come up like you somehow suck energy from masculines let's see what else are these people lying about We have trying to get pregnant, and we have this betrayal energy. Divine Feminine, some of these people are saying, like, that you lied about a pregnancy. Or that there's a child that don't belong to this Divine Masculine. This is what these people are lying about to create chaos and drama. And this Divine Masculine stood up for you, said that, like, nah, that's a lie. And it just started this gigantic lie that alert this karmic that this spell work that she didn't have this divine masculine under as much control as she thought that she had him in. My thing is divine feminine is not even with this masculine, but yet you're still obsessing and doing work towards divine feminine. Meanwhile, now you're getting checked by this masculine. Now you're getting checked by this masculine obsessed with divine feminine's energy. Trying to bind Divine Feminine's energy only to bind yourself. Now you got to worry about this demon that's ready to collect. 
for some of you divine feminines, where this karmic tried to manifest a miscarriage on you, this energy has come back. Because there's chaotic energy towards a pregnancy here. And that chaos and drama was in reverse. Yeah, they're salty. This karmic is salty. We have salty energy here. There's a salty masculine. Look at him. Goofy. Just goofy. Trying to make it seem like divine feminine betrayed this divine masculine. Could have said that you were with another masculine here. What else? What else were these people saying? Are you sure, okay, that we're, we can hang out? Your boo don't care? Divine Femme, these people could have accused you, of, uh, told this masculine they seen you with somebody else. For some of you. Not the one, friends only at best. For some of you Divine Feminines, one or two of these karmic masculines tried to talk to you. And you rejected them or you knew that they wanted you. What else? What other lies did they say about Divine Feminine? I cannot. We have not going anywhere. That came out in reverse. They wanted this masculine to be insecure about your loyalty. That you were going to come in and just take and toss him to the side. Focusing on self. Yeah, like you were all about yourself, Divine Feminine. And then we have a product of my past, abuse, abandonment issue, lonely, insecure, money issues, drug and alcohol. Divine Feminine, these people tried to use your past traumas against you. They tried to say that um, some kind of abuse has like, like you're ruined or something like that. That you come out of poverty, that you're unworthy. These people like... They threw the whole book at you. Made it seem like if you had an addiction in the past, made it seem like you still have an addiction. These people made it seem like you are destruction and chaos itself. And this masculine attaching himself to you, he would pick up that energy or that if this masculine has some kind of uh, toxic energy, the, his karmic family members said that you made it worse. Let's see, what else? Before I get to the next part, because these people get on my nerves. We have a hidden baby that came out in reverse. Some kind of truth is going to come out about a child here. Yeah, Lord, it's me again. I did a thing last night. There's, there are secrets being exposed here. Meanwhile, these people were trying to expose your secrets. And there are secrets being exposed here. One of these karmic family members... She is finding out that this that her masculine, there could be a karmic couple involved in this. Because there's two karmic masculines, two karmic feminines, and a karmic lover. One of them can actually be a couple. And there's a baby in question here. Or this karmic lover has a baby that's in question here. Let's see what else is going on here. We have the painter in reverse. Divine Feminine, they tried to paint you red. They tried to lie on you. They slandered you. They did lie on you. Poisoned your name. Even tried to poison you directly. Tried to get you locked up. Poisoned this union with their lies. That's kind of love binding spell. This thing is falling apart. Uh, let's see what else. We have the captain taking command and teamwork. There is a queen bee karmic here. It's like a karmic mother. And then we have the alchemist. Somebody's mixing potions here. We have poison and then we have the alchemist. This is some harmful and destructive energy. Somebody could try to leave something around your house. Yeah. We have the witch with the alchemist. This masculine could have uh, witches in his family. 
and they tried to do something they didn't fully understand and this work went back now they trying to figure out how this work came back to them yeah they went and got read a reading with this reading energy this chiromancer energy this communication came through that it was that it came back divine feminine And with the wise one in reverse, these people were stupid. Stupid. Five, five, four, four on the clock when I say that. These karmics were stupid when they went and resorted to this aggressive energy knowing that this divine masculine was on his way out the door. Stupid. Because now whatever last move they pulled, this masculine dipped out. With this farewell energy, what else? Yeah, a false twin. We have the twins in reverse. Literally, the twins in reverse. These people were stupid. Look at this. We have small regrets. The Herald, it literally says small regrets. This is in reverse. <laughs> These are huge regrets. They were making big moves. We got the forgotten on the bottom. I feel like these people like raised some kind of with the forgotten that sounds like the forsaken or something like that these people raise some kind of dark energy or something like that and now they have to deal with this child i cannot i cannot <laughs> what else because this is ridiculous this is now getting ridiculous okay these karmics like y'all are so desperate let's see what else is going on here Knight of Swords. The second time I saw Knight of Swords. This is some very reckless energy. These people were arguing. Yeah, the Knight of Swords and the Lovers. Arguing about this masculine not being confused anymore. With the Seven of Cups and the Lovers. We have the Lovers, Seven of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. And then we have the five of swords. People are arguing about this masculine not believing these lies about divine feminine. This is what they were arguing about. Literally. What else do we need to know here? Ooh, six of cups. Five of swords in reverse. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This event, this divine masculine is thinking back to some kind of mind games he was playing with divine feminine. This masculine was gaslighting you. It's like divine feminine, you could have felt like you were battling to in this relationship by yourself. And this masculine kept making it seem like he was putting in work with you. But you seen that he wasn't putting in any work. He was gaslighting you. And he sees that. He's thinking about when he was gaslighting you. Scorpio energy. Hierophant Taurus energy. And Sagittarius, the, imp the temperance. For some of you, this masculine wants to, um, he wants to heal things with this higher font and this temperance energy and this strength energy. This is a masculine who wants to heal things with divine feminine. Something about your loyalty. This masculine regrets questioning your loyalty. All right, so let's see what else is going on here, you guys. Let's see. Oh, I think this deck is upside down. Let's see what else. We have a love call in reverse. Let's see. Too many cards. What else? Old school. Eight of 
and a coffee cup. This masculine, whoever this divine masculine is, he was thinking about, somebody lied about a phone call. Whoever these desperate karmics are. Lied about overhearing a phone call that you were on or they know about a communication that you had with an ex. This masculine is also thinking about a conversation that he had with you before. Something in the past. It's like this masculine keeps replaying something over and over in his head. We have this shock energy in reverse. Okay. And we have time and understanding. Divine Feminine, you told this masculine something. And in time, he understood exactly what you were saying. Something you warned this masculine about in time, he understood exactly what you were saying about these karmic attachments. It all came, it all came to light. I see your side of the story. This masculine sees exactly what you were talking about when it came to these karmic family and friends. And for some of you, when it came to this karmic lover, when this took place, this betrayal took place, this masculine wasn't even shocked. Because you warned him about it. What else? Yeah. We have damage. And we have the butterfly. Come through spirit. This, this destroyed everything. Divine Feminine. When you could have expressed this to this divine masculine. Back when you expressed it to him. He didn't believe this. But with divine timing. This all came to light. A very specific conversation that you had with him. More than one with Love Call being here and Coffee Cup being here. For some of you Divine Feminines, there was something this masculine was holding back. What I told you guys about this seduction not working. We have seduction in reverse. This changed everything. Once this masculine found out the truth about these karmic family ties in reverse... Wedding energy in reverse, this karmic twin, this part karmic soulmate. Poker face in reverse with the girl with the snake giving me narcissistic energy. We were talking about flying monkeys earlier. Once this all came to light, this masculine don't believe nobody. He don't believe anyone that he was that he's around. Any of anyone, divine feminine. These people that you called out. Cause you called this out on the money here. Child, I cannot. I just cannot. Let's see what else. We have help. This is not what I was expecting. What I told you, Divine Feminine, whoever these karmics are, this spell work that bounced back, they didn't expect this to bounce back. And whoever was doing this seduction spell work here, when this started to fall apart, when this masculine ears itching again, every time I talk about that, my ears start itching. When this masculine started to resist this karmic lover, she immediately went to do something. We have now you got it, what it tastes like. Oh, we this this bounce back was something else. This bounce back with something else. When now you got it, what it tastes like. What it tastes like, baby. You sent that evil toy soldier energy to Divine Feminine. And look what happened to you. And now it's back. Now you got it, what it tastes like. Everything. And the fact that this card talks about what it tastes like, Divine Feminine. They were working so hard to distort your image here. For this Divine Masculine. Only for him to defend you at a public setting. At an actual social event. So they know this propaganda fell apart. They know this smear campaign failed. These are narcissists. Look at this. We have little man syndrome, defensive for no reason, just bitter for no reason, a hater who hates themselves. Lies. These are your haters, Divine Feminine. They are bitter. Your transformation got them shook. Born to keep changing. Divine Feminine, when you got out of this situation with this Divine Masculine, they thought this would destroy you. 
and they kept sending all this nasty energy and kept this smear campaign up against you trying to sacrifice your abundance trying to mess with your job your money your love these people tried to bind your nine of cups away from you this is what they tried to take from you only to find themselves losing everything look at this what's a goon to a goblin they didn't know what they were messing with all they do is run their mouth about you hating hoes these people these karmic survive feminine your haters goofball stupid is as stupid does this fool out here looking dumb i don't know why i just thought about divine masculine when i read that card divine feminine you could feel like divine masculine out here looking like a goofball how long are you going to allow these people to have you out here looking crazy? Allow these people to control your life? Allow yourself to be a sucker? For some of you divine feminines, it became very clear to you that these were karmic attachments. And that this masculine refused to learn these karmic lessons. Child... Let's see what else is going on. There'll be no extended. We're going to finish this out right here, you guys. What else? I cannot. You are ready. Free yourself. And release the past. This masculine. He's releasing these karmic energies. You are ready. Free yourself. Release the past. This masculine feels like these people sacrificed true love for him. It's like he see how they were controlling him. It's like something came true, Divine Feminine. We have true love and pillow talk. This is like something you said to this masculine. Okay, I'm going to get real specific because we have amazing sex here. Divine Feminine, you could have said something to this masculine after a night of passion after a night of being very you know intimate with this masculine and it came true it came true and this masculine it's like he just knew he had to free himself because you've seen this coming this masculine recognizes this soul connection with soul may be in here child i cannot these karmics did not expect to have to deal with this they could not believe that this smear campaign didn't work against you divine feminine and now they have to deal with this energy now they have to deal with this energy child let's wrap this up now people see them the way that they wanted people to see you now it's not working. Now you're getting embarrassed at public social events because this divine masculine is defending divine feminine in front of people. What else? Two of swords. Four cups. People are bothered. King of swords. These people are mad. Two of swords. Four of cups. King of swords. The devil. And the seven of swords at the bottom. Aquarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Cancer, Libra energy. Aquarius twice. Aquarius three times. The star is at the bottom. Somebody, you could be a star seed. Three of cups. Somebody could want to reunite with a star seed. These karmics are confused as to how nothing is working with the two of swords and the four of cups. And they were determined, calculated, ruthless. In this king of swords energy yet everything is in reverse they're confused at how this energy that they fixated towards you they sent towards you didn't work this deceptive energy how it got rejected these people manufactured conflict with you pathological liars we have the ace of swords here coming out sideways they were lying about you divine feminine mixing lies with a little bit of truth 
with the eight of wands here sending messages back and forth about you child you're the star of the show you're the star of their lives these are people who are fixated on you even when you had no attachment to these people what else four of wands they're relying on this union there is a karmic couple here involved here because here's this karmic queen and king of swords again. There's a karmic couple here that were fixated on this union between you and this masculine with this four of wands energy. Told a ton of lies. Wanted this masculine to reject this union. A whole karmic couple. Where they need to be minding their own business, they minding your business. Aries is here. What else? Six of Pentacles. And the High Priestess. Strong Pisces energy. It's like, these people were secretly trying to orchestrate for this masculine to breadcrumb you. Taurus, Pisces energy, Queen of Swords, the Moon, Cancer, Pisces, and the Tower. Tower over here by this seven of swords. These people are creating illusions about an illusion fell apart. Especially whoever this karmic queen of swords is that was focused on you. There's a lot of things being done in the dark here. There could have been some kind of somebody wanted you to be breadcrumbed. Point blank. Scorpio energy. Wanted you to be bred from... Why, why is the Seven of Swords, the Tower, and the Moon here? Page of Cups. Yeah, they want to destroy your innocence. Somebody could be an Earth Angel here. Definitely, if you have a child with this mask, and try to put out some kind of lie out there about this. Or a lie about you and another masculine you have a child with. What else? King of Wines and the Wheel of Fortune. So people could have said you were after something. That you were waiting to inherit something from this Divine Masculine. Child, I cannot. What else do we need to know about this? Five of Wands. We, oh, God. All of this jealousy, all of this competing Divine Feminine, all this aggressive, nasty energy, this Five of Wands, these people wanted the you and this masculine to stay in constant conflict. They were creating illusions to go against your innocence. But it's like this masculine knew you were innocent. Something they tried to pull against you, Divine Feminine, something they said... It just not only did it not add up, but something you predicted came true. Something you prophesied. Something you said this masculine found out was true. So when they came out and started saying these other lies, this masculine knew they were lies. These people were always attacking your innocence behind the scenes, Divine Feminine. These people could have made it seem like you were... Um, hypersexual or something like that since you were young or younger meanwhile here you out here winning star energy and the six of wands meanwhile this masculine this masculine is coming in for another opportunity divine feminine i got the full twin flame awakening ace of pentacles the empress the sun and the three of cups that's reunion energy. That's a wake-up call. That's this masculine becoming clear on who the empress is. Because he's been dealing with an impersonator with that karmic twin. Wheel of Fortune, who his destiny is with. This masculine could feel like you're his destiny. Sure. All right, so let's see what Zodiac signs is involved in this reading. Because, child, I just can't. We have Taurus energy. With this Venus. So definitely a Taurus involved. Leo energy here. Virgo. 
Virgo energy. Capricorn energy. We have Aquarius energy. And we have Scorpio energy. Pisces energy at the bottom. So there could be a Taurus, Leo, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Seventh House Placement. That could be your sign, Divine Feminine. That could be Divine Masculine sign. Or that could be one of these karmic attachment signs. Okay, you guys. That's all I have for you guys. No extended reading today, you guys. Make sure you put all your comments below. Let me know what you think. Make sure you thumbs up the video. Okay, check out my memberships. The link is in the description box below. But don't forget, share, share, share the video. Let YouTube know you love my videos. Let me know you love my videos by sharing my videos on all of your social media platforms. Okay, you guys. Also, make sure you're subscribed to all of my channels. You should be subscribed to Mermaid Prophetess, which is this channel, and make sure you are subscribed to Mermaid Prophetess 222. Okay, you guys can find the link to my other channel by either going to my community tab, you'll see where I share videos from my other channels, or going to the tab that actually says channels, and you'll see Mermaid Prophetess 222. Okay, you guys, comments below, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>